I interrupted your little, uh, more, your monologue. Go, hey. Mira, Mira, who is the whorest whore in this room? Okay, first of all, that's not even how you say it. It's Mira, Mira on the wall. Who's the whoriest of them all? Oh my god, yeah. What are they teaching you up in China? Well, it's the, the one on the left, obviously. <laughs> huh? Of, like you. What, what the, me what? The whorest of all. Ah. <laughs> Maybe me, actually. Yeah, to be, if we're gonna be completely honest, I feel like every time I come here, you talk about a new boy that you fucked. And I am like, um, well, what do you mean? I was editing. <laughs> I was editing the latest episode of Double D. <laughs> Speaking of which, peep the hoodie. Eddie got me some new drip. Mm-hmm. Drip, drip. If you just like it, it's very Oi. cute. It's very cute. And Jenny Worth, so I guess that means I'm Jenny. In the airport. Oi. Yes. Ha. How you like that? I think people were because re- people kept asking well, like where this painting is from in the comment section. Mm-hmm. Um, this is from uh, his name is Edward too. His, oh really? Yeah, Edward Hopper. I There's think so many Eddies. I know, right? Recently, I met up with another person that was also like, I know like four Eddies too. I'm like, sis, and they're all homosexuals. Edward is such a homosexual name. I think. Growing up, I always felt like all the Edwards that I knew were kind of dumb. <laughs> Because they were always the class clown, or they were like just really like, huh? or they're oh, homosexuals. Daddy. They're intelligent, but they're homosexuals. Us. <laughs> tragedy. Tragedy. Pure tragedy. They I need think. to make a whole flag for us, too, <laughs> with our faces on it. You know how there's like the simple flags that are like one or two colors, or it's just like stripes or something, but then there's the flags that have like the fucking symbols and like intricate pit drawings on them? That's going to be us. Oh my god! A realistic portrait of our face is just. <laughs> we're the leaders. At the bottom, of, subscribe to Double D. <laughs> we're, the le- we're the mothers of all bottoms. I think, in twenty years, <sighs> it'd be in- easier for me to say that if I actually was getting enough dick for that. But, girl, I haven't had sex in months. I think the, the problem is like it's in Korea. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I think Korea. I but we, I think we've been talking about. Gayness and literally, uh, we need to stop talking. Too about much, yeah. That's our entire existence. Anyway, I want to talk to you about something because yeah. um, I, for some reason, I suddenly had this like vivid memory flashback of uh, when I was in elementary school. Oh, it was your dog that reminded me of this. It was my first encounter with a dog, like in person. And before we had like in our neighborhood, we had a carpool driver. Um, she would pick up all the kids in our neighborhood and take us, take us to the school. It wasn't really an official school thing. It was more of just like a because she's Filipino, so she would pick up all the Filipino kids. It was kind of like a Filipino sort of thing because there's so many Filipinos in that area. But um, one day I had to go to her house first. Uh, my mom dropped me off there, and she had a dog, a very big dog, like a I. I don't remember. Maybe like one of those black Labrador la, la, labs. Just very, not this not small, like medium, big sized dog. Mm-hmm. Tell me why I thought it was a good idea to, instead of saying hi to it or just even leaving it alone, I decided to softly put my foot right on its back, my bare foot, for no reason. You know what happened? And like, you know what happened? I have never seen a dog perform such lightning fast ninja ass reflexes in like in a matter of 0.5 nanoseconds immediate turnaround bites my foot and i fell to the fall to the ground and it was so embarrassing like the second my ass touched that ground i stood right the fuck oh up my God. and to be honest i don't even blame the dog is the dog vaccinated that i don't know for mad dog disease well i guess we're here oh, now so all, like, i yeah, so probably wasn't vaccinated <laughs> Yeah, like the, I, the hoodie is hinting it. Yeah, I think. Oh, much so. Yes, I thought I heard somewhere that if dogs bite, if it's like a, a bite record, they have to be put down. I don't. Yes. Know, I, I wouldn't know if that. I don't know if that situation would count. That situation would count if someone reports dog. I mm. guess. I remember there was like two holes in my foot. Is it still? Um, girl, it's, it's, gone, it's, healed, gone? it's healed, but it was just so embarrassing. So I was like, I'm such a, I'm such a dumb bitch. Like never do that shit again. But I think that's just what kids do. They're just so curious. Yeah. And they, curious. So that's why you put your foot on a dog. The, the the owner came. The carpool driver's son came. Oh, so cute. That's just an early so sign cute. of ADHD. You know, hey, maybe. Yeah. So 
Are you just making that up? <laughs> no. There are, you know, a lot of people leaving. Being, com- being a curious kid is an early sign of ADHD. No, there will be kids that's being very, um, they're, they'll go an extra mile. They will do things that's out of the ordinary, like with the boundary. They were just putting my foot on a dog is out of the ordinary. Yeah, that's very dangerous. Isn't it? Because it's, oh, of course. You, it's you, in you said, hindsight. Yeah, you, you said, at the time, you said it's I don't think it's adventurous dog. or anything. You said it's a very big dog. It's not a, a poodle or it's not a pug. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a it's medium a lab. sized lab. Yeah, yeah. It's very. It's not like my my dog Carly. Yeah. yeah. So but I don't see how that's an early sign of ADHD. Because you would do something that's just not. Girl, you're you're a WebMD. <laughs> you're the type where it's like I have like a scratch on my leg or something. I'm like search it up. I have cancer. <laughs> that's you. Uh no, but oh, super cute son. Can there he walks I'm, in. I'm just showing I've, my con- friend concern, and that's what I got. Okay. You know what? You know people in like, by misdiagnosing me. You, no, you you remember pe- people are in the comment section saying that they're they're um, backing me up by saying you can't actually get um, throat. Orgasm because there are actually G spot. Orgasm? In yes, there are actually G spot in your throat. The people are backing out with with. And I need to know where you where you saw this information. Um, I read it like when when the few in years a copy ago. of Playboy magazine, like <laughs> Cosmo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> China Cosmo J14 magazine legit, Tiger Beat Legit Soros Cosmo Have, Did you ever read Tiger Beat? Tiger Beat? Because uh, uh, like, you know Like the tween era Like the kind of like uh, Jonas Brothers uh, Hannah Montana era Like with Disney When like There was like the child stars And they There was like the magazine That would focus on like Tween girls So it's like Tween magazines They, they publish articles mm-hmm. like this? Yeah no, I'm asking if you've seen that article. Oh no, or no, the, no. that magazine. No, no. I thought I was joking because if you had no, that would be funny. If there was a kind of article in that kind of oh, magazine. Oh, I see. It's like there being like a uh, article about G spots and throat, in like in Christian Digest or something. That would be, if that's true, that would be so messed up. But yeah, I, I, I've only seen covers of it because when I lived in Canada, I've seen yeah, right. magazines and around it was but, like posters and stuff, mm-hmm. honey. But the. Honey, it was giving big like graphic design is my passion energy because like the way they literally just be because you know you you make scrapbooks, cut out pictures, paste them oh, together. It was yes. giving that vibe because the graphic design of these teen magazines were so horrible. I think people were just buying for the cover. Oh, of course, yes, not just the cover, but like the stuff inside, the free mm-hmm. stuff. I think uh, yeah, a lot the, the posters. Everyone like, did you ever do your posters on posters of your favorite celebrities on the wall? Oh my, I I don't do that, but it just reminds me of. Um, uh, a tweet I don't use Twitter But there's a There's a one tweet That went viral mm-hmm. When the Justin Bieber um, Like when, when everyone Went crazy for Justin Bieber mm-hmm. Like there's a girl Who Spreading her legs Against the Justin Bieber's poster Sis Did you remember them I, I've never seen that You never It's a while I might have seen it It reminds me of When the girl sent uh, 2 p.m. That letter in her In her period blood There are people like that Yeah Honey, back in the day, I know <laughs> K-pop fans can be crazy these days, but honey, that like before the internet sort of like was a big if thing. I'm two p.m. Like, I would be traumatized. I would be traumatized, honey. Like the the fans back then, crazy. Wow. Yeah, some girl sent uh, her period blood. It was I don't remember. It wasn't like a death threat letter, but it was some kind of letter talking about confessing her love or whatever, but written in her blood, her period blood, I guess. How do people know it's her period blood? She I mean, specif- specified it. In- either that or like I don't. That uh, or she, she probably might have cut herself, but but yeah. To know. be honest, if she wants to send her like blood, might as well just pure it blood because it's, e- it's easier yeah. to get and you have to cut yourself. Yeah, you you don't have to harm yourself. You have a good supply. <laughs> yeah, if you're healthy, then you have a you have a, mm-hmm. a good dosage every yeah, month. Yeah. I guess yeah, yeah. that would make sense. Yeah. So it went from teen magazines to period blood letters, <laughs> the pipeline. Well, anyway, uh, yes. So um. Yeah, rest in peace because apparently the carpool driver she passed away a few years ago. So Aww. so kind, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Um, Thank you for your service. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, but the second my ass fell on the floor, I, and as soon as I got up, her son was walking out, and he saw me. And was like, "Are you okay?" I was, I was like, "Yeah." Oh my god! It was so. It was even more awkward because I was. It was like the movies where the character does something suspicious and they immediately try to act natural, oh, but uh-huh. it was so fake. That was me. I was like. Yeah, I'm fine. And they're like, did the dog bite you? And he was like, no, I'm fine. Holding back tears. It was wild. But you, you wasn't sent to the hospital because if a dog bites you, then... I didn't, I didn't tell anybody. 
Um, oh, it could be. If anyone who is watching this, if a dog bites you, you should. Yeah, you really should go to the hospital because. Um, I would like in Korean mm. it's called pasangpun. It might lead to pasangpun. Kuh buji, rabies. Yeah, or in fact, if it get infected, then it might lead to death. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm still alive, so I'm 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 guessing that uh, the dog was vaccinated, mm-hmm. like got it got his shots. So, but. Thank, I'm, I'm thank, really just glad. Thank God, be alive. I'm still alive. Here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, near death experience. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, actually, yes, <laughs> could have been, but who knows? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I used to be bitten by a dog for like maybe three times, so I got. Um, you make it sound like it's a casual, like sexual thing. Like I used to be bitten by a dog because I used to live in. You had been bitten by a dog. <laughs> yeah, I had. Yeah, I had. Um, because I three lived, times because yeah, I lived in the rural area of the of china the rustic whenever, era of china yes very because um i live in Qingdao, right because mm-hmm. Qingdao is a actually very developed city yep. now mm-hmm. but when i was very very little when i just moved to the, the Qingdao city um the city is v- very underdeveloped really yes um 20 something years ago it's a little fish fish fishing town like everyone there are fishers so uh, because of the ruralness of yeah so area. there's a lot of uh, wild dogs uh, on the streets like oh shit yeah, so it wasn't even your fault now it's, now it's in, in, under control and mm-hmm. uh, my, my mom she works uh, in this um, Korean owned hotel mm-hmm. as a receptionist mm-hmm. um, because the hotel is um, like 24 hours open mm-hmm. so she works 24 hours shift and then she rests for 24 hours that's what her shift really? is so she is um, the my house is like um, completely like uh, without um, like there's completely empty for there's no adults at home mm-hmm. just by myself mm-hmm. I know in the states it's legal Really? But um, this is China we're talking about. Yeah. So my, my 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 dad is always not home. So maybe that explains how I'm gay. But never mind. Um, so Honestly, though, same. I'm, my dad was never around. My never around. Yeah, There's no father figure. My dad was in the navy. So in the army, the whole family moves around together. But in the navy, it was the father usually, or the one that's in the navy that's like out overseas like for months at a time. Are we confessing to the audience that we have daddy issues? Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. You sure I don't fucking do. Maybe that's why I'm so into older guys. I'm not into older Honey, guys. when I see that with no, no profile photo on Jack or <laughs> Tinder or Grindr, mm-hmm. but the age is 35, I'm kind of like, <sighs> Really? Oh, yeah. I, I, I understood why people are into older guys. I, I really don't like Adoshi. Adoshi mm. really turned me off. Really? Yeah. No. Can they clean cut, nice body, good hair? Kuredo. Kuredo? Really? I don't like the mindset of Adoshi. I feel like Nomu. Yeah, I just don't like Adoshis. Because I feel like they're Nomu. Kori Tabune. Like um, mm. in Korean, it's called Kori Tabune. Like mm. their mind is very old. I like younger mind. In what sense? Like the mm. values? Yeah, they're, they're, their thoughts. What if they're open minded? They're open minded. What if? Like the, the, the way they talk and everything. I like a, a younger generation. More young. Cause like, like because I think I, I think like a younger people. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> you know how like, you know how like, older generations they think it different ways, like very Korean. Well, that's what I'm saying. What what if they're more open minded? They're more more like you know. I haven't met a lot of people who because that's, that's why, why I, I act like you're a fucking 22, Eddie. You're yeah. in your 30s now. Because that's why I only dated one person in my life who's older than me. Because mm-hmm. that's the only person I feel like. Oh, he is not really. I really don't mind. To be honest, I really don't mind. I don't really, I don't really care to wake okay. up for me. I just feel like for me with well, I don't, I'm not, I don't think you're saying like, oh, you want to date younger guys, like mm-hmm. 22, 23. Mm-hmm. But for me, I just, I feel like I can't handle people that that are too young, right? I feel like I'm at the age where I want someone that has their life together a little bit at least. Of course. Yeah, because honey, <sighs> when we went to, I really can't handle the taxing. When really we went to MGG the other day. There weren't that many super, super young people, but I was like, this is giving me, I'm like, I really feel like the Ajashi at the club. <laughs> Even though, you know, I was feeling myself. I was just like, you know. Yeah, because MGG boom. is uh, the gay club we're going. We, we, we went for yeah. once in a blue moon. And really. honey, we went too damn early. Yeah. I told my friends the other the next day, like, oh, we went to public, but there was nobody there. They're like, what time did you go? It was like, what, how old? What 11. Time? It was like, they're like, girl, you're supposed to go out like 1 or 2, p- 2 a.m. Oh, really? Yes. That's when people go. Honey, I can't go clubbing with you because you, you're too old. You, be, you have to, we have to club at 1 a.m. honey 1 a.m. is when people go home no no honey that's in america or canada okay in Korea, that's when the party starts last week um there's because there's a new club called public in korea just recently opened i really want to check it out and i never go clubbing anymore because i hate 
because you know that I can never get a taxi going back home, mm -hmm. and I hate that. And then because I'm old, when it's like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., I really want to go to sleep. Yeah. So I asked Edward if he wants to hang out, and then that's why I went to the public, and there's literally nobody there yeah. at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. And so we... we p.m. 11 p.m., sorry. So we um, we paid the entrance fee, and then find out there's no one there, then we turned our Which is direction ironic. to MMG. Well, we were at MGG first because yeah. we knew nobody was going to be at... You were like, no, we have to go to Levy because that's when the party starts. Girl, we went to public. It was very not public because nobody was there. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went to the, uh, MGG and I found out there's the, pe the people there are too young. Well, uh, I think there's a good there's like a good range, but it's definitely the vibes is very since it's like the new king where the K-pop is played, the bottoms mm -hmm. become in and like the, the young everyone ones. there are bottoms, yeah. including us. We're so and I cannot complain. <laughs> well, I'm sure there were some tops. Oh my god, the boy that we saw that we said hello to, he's mm -hmm. a social media influencer. You might have seen him on like Instagram or something. He's a dancer. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just so funny seeing because he dances, bitch. He fucking moves. He shimmies and shakes, honey. You would think that it's like I don't know toddlers and tiaras or some kind of like you know dancing with the stars or some shit because he it's like it was a competition in Jonathan so. but the, it was just so funny because I guess he was on a date with a guy and it, <laughs> that, that's his friend or no seriously yeah that's his friend I'm pretty sure uh, honey I don't I'm your friend and we're at the club and I'm not dancing like that on you what if 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 that person is his like date uh -huh. he wouldn't dance like that I'm pretty sure. No? <laughs> I don't think you know this crater. Oh, okay. Or later. Oh, okay. Never mind. Anyway, the the obvious, the, the top amongst the two was just so... You know, I could tell he was really trying to kind of match his energy, but he's just not... He doesn't know how to dance like that. So I thought it was really cute that he was trying, but he was just very just like... You know, you know, they can't dance, but they're trying at least. Mm -hmm. They're cute also. So, you know, the, he came up to me, the creator said hi to me because we know each other. I was like, as a joke, I, I went, I'm assuming his date. I said to his, I was like, oh my girl, I am so damn sorry. Fighting. <laughs> and he was like, uh -huh. Good day. He was really, really cute. Yeah. yeah. He's, oh, a, he's a very nice person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He seems very nice. Oh, the creator? Yeah. He oh, seems very nice. He's very yeah. handsome in person. Yeah, yeah, he looks yeah. exactly like he does in yeah, videos. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Which uh, there are not a lot of creators look yeah, yeah. yeah, right? Yeah, there are not a lot of yeah. creators looks like what they are uh -huh. in the photo. Yeah. Especially like you uh you know me, i would be following all these bodybuilders on Instagram, right? And oh, so the bodybuilders are uh, the yeah. The the biggest culprits. <laughs> They'd be like, because they all obviously they and mm -hmm. on their daily life, they just take pictures at the gym, like in the mirror with you know, selfie. But of course they take professional photos. So the professional photos, I mean I'm sure they photoshop to some degree, but Obviously, with all the professional lighting, the cameras, and like a, a little bit of Photoshop, like they look perfect, but then they just don't look like themselves. Like, you know, not to say that you're supposed to look exactly the same because obviously, if you're, you know, you're going to look different between just being at the gym and being at like a studio, right? But some of these people, like the the difference is insane. I'm like, who are you? There's some people where I'm like, they look different in every single picture. So I'm like, what do you really look like? Can you give us an example? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I feel like there's one I have in mind. I feel like you would know him. Nugu? But I'm not going to say it because I'm not messy like that. <laughs> Honestly. Where, where we have you. There have been so many times where I had to cut out names and bleep out names because this bitch over here would be like, oh, you mean the one, the, the, the one faggot? I'm like, sis, he's not out. I, I have a few names, but... Oh, she's got, a, she's got yeah. a, a list. Yes, but everyone has a few names. So um, I'm just going to leave... You sound proud of that. I'm just. I, uh, it's you just, sound like the type of girl that if you're gonna date someone, you'll blackmail them with, you'll threaten them if they try to break up with you. No, I don't. Actually, I don't do that. If I break up with someone, I break up with. I yeah, break to be up honest, you're the one. You, in general, I feel like the vibe I'm getting is that no, victimizing is not the right word. You know, victimize yourself. Can I, I always assume that if you break up with someone, it's always the guy's fault. But I don't know. I always feel like every time you talk about. Breaking up with a guy now, it's always you're the one saying, let's break up. Yeah, that's why I do. I'm trying to stop. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, I, man, I just. Honey, just, man, that's all, that's it, man. Man's, ugh. Men, men, you know, boys. Boys, I, uh, <sighs> I really wish I was a lesbian, I, you know? I really, really? wish. I see I, so. I, 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 Girl, I, what do you mean, you mean straight? <laughs> what do you mean, lesbian? <laughs> I know, like. If you're a lesbian, that means you'd be your bottom fucking another bottom. 
I know, like, I really wish I was, but I just... I, no, you don't. You really don't wish that. Let's I not really be, want to change up. my, me, me, like, mac, mechanism to actually like a girl or or I'm a top or something. I just I can't deal with men. I think Buddy and Cherry should do a special where it's like, Buddy and Cherry... Turn into a straight take, man. Take over the, the conversion therapy camp. <laughs> So we were just at the camp like, hey guys. I know. We're, it's we're, just a bunch of other gay people. Or we we'll, we'll seduce the father. So, father, let me, let me. Is that wait. what you think a uh, conversion therapy camp is? Yeah. It's not, there's no, it's Fa- not a church. There's no father. No. Father, let me read a verse of the, 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 the Bible. Lo- love your neighbors. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure the, the priest would like that. But that's not a conversion therapy camp. That's I not? think it's supposed to be, it's almost like, a, it's like a camp. There's like counselors. So, ooh, electronic shock. Oh, put it on me. Sorry. What? Okay, Oscars. Come on, Oscars. All right, uh, Miss Sweeney. What's your name? Father, mother, house of gays. <laughs> Y'all need to assassinate this man. He is out of control. I, I am full of sin. And please just purify me with the, the Bible, Holy Bible. And Earlier, we were filming something, a reels for the... Uh, mm-hmm style korean thing mm-hmm. right it's funny because when i'm filming the, these beauty reels i do it very simple just like swatching an application a cute little glam shot this guy glam shot he's got it down he's like <laughs> he knows how to do it. but the way he does application and like application and swatch he's aggressive the toxic masculinity he's just like he squirts half the bottle out on his hands he's I'm like, sis, it's really not that serious. Well, I just... I, I'm surprised that's the one time you need to channel your feminine energy. You don't. Um, you're supposed to be like... But you're like... Well, I, I have thick fingers. It's really hard to... T- to yeah, it's hard to like... Thick fingers, but you're always like... <laughs> this is you. <laughs> you. You know what? My... <laughs> Because I was I was texting the other day mm-hmm. uh, around my massage chair. Mm-hmm. Uh, my friend was over there, and then she secretly took a picture of my my texting fingers because I had my <laughs> my little fingers like oh. peeping out. I didn't even know, and she made that into uh, a like emoticon. Wow. Yeah, and then she she used that in her like chatting. Mm. <gasps> you know what I want to do? I, actually, I was thinking about this on the taxi right here. Mm-hmm. I think we should make emoticons. Oh, because I was texting someone and there was a spe- very specific face I wanted to make to them. The emoji of cool, there's no emojis for it, and there's no kakao talk emoticons that I could think of. And I feel like you and I make weird faces that I think are I like iconic. That as Bonnie and Cherry, just as well. I was thinking using our faces as like a template, and then putting because have you seen those emoticons where it's like a cute like bunny character, but the face is like like a weirdly realistic like. Oh, uh, like meme face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Kind of the kimoro, like funny bunny, but like as normal. But then when they make like a pyojong, like a face, they're like. My they're friend like, is already making. They're there's they're already using it in our group chat. Really? Yeah, they're making like weird. They are. <gasps> Girl, we need to monetize this. <laughs> no, I've always wanted to make kako talking but I've never done it. Like I've never gone through with it. Cause there's just some faces where I want to send, but I don't have like a meme or like a emoji for it. I'm already traumatized by this experience. Might as well just monetize it. Yeah, just getting Let's paid it. by yeah. it. Yeah. So contact the people you know. <laughs> yeah. Ask Hyungju. If yeah, if 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 we can actually do this. Yeah. Let us know. Would you want a emoticon pack of our faces? I'm already. <laughs> so that's. Can we just make a few pretty faces, not like, like like this, like your orgasm faces? You know how the usually emoticon packs or mm-hmm. uh, emoji packs, the first one is usually like a, a version of hello or like annyeong or some kind of thing like that. Mm-hmm. I want it to be like just me coming out around a corner and being like. <laughs> so that's your, an, that's your annyeong face? Yeah. I also, oh my God, I want to add like sound effects too. Where it's like our voices. Hi. What what what, ah. me- what messengers do um, XG, people oh in the West I... use? Huh? In what the West? Messenger, yeah. I know. I feel like these days people just use iMessage in the states, so they don't really. They only use iMessages. They only use iMessage. They don't use WhatsApp. Or WhatsApp. I know some people use WhatsApp, or they people use Snapchat. But girl, I don't fucking know. I don't think they. I, yeah, I realize people who use Snapchat. I thought that they, that already. No, that's what I thought. But people should be using it. But, okay. but I guess because it's convenient. I thought Snapchat is the the, the, the app that people send news to with. <laughs> no? No, that's only if you hear about it from scandals. So, of course, that's what you're going to think. Okay. No, but I think, no, I think people still definitely use it. Okay. But I don't feel like in the, in the West they really use emojis. Maybe um, they use emojis, but not like good, like picture emoticons. That's interesting. Okay. Because um, 
when I contact clients, I mm-hmm. um I they normally use WhatsApp. That's uh, really? what I assume they like people in America they use WhatsApp. Question: As a business person, when you send emails, you don't use things like LOL or like. Of course not. That would right? be ridiculous. But sometimes I feel like I want to use it because I don't want to sound so serious on email. Because maybe the max I'll use is a, is a side smiley face, but sometimes I just want to be like LOL or. Oh, you know, because I want because I you, usually you, these brands I do contact with they're usually really nice, and I want to convey, you know, because you're yeah. you're an individual, you're your personality online. I think you yeah. can use it, uh, but as a brand representative, mm-hmm. they you can. You've got, remember the episode we dropped this thing on the floor. It's still on the floor. <laughs> you need to pick that up. Oh, uh, pick it up right now. This thing was dropped on the floor last week, and I didn't pick it up. And because... did you see a dust flying there right now, next to your mouth? Huh? I love that. He picked it up, and the piece of dust flew, and it went right into his mouth. He didn't even notice. <laughs> no, I didn't pick it up because it's bad luck, you know. Girl. Anyway, so if it's a professional email, mm-hmm. you never, of course. Uh, because um, because if he's really close to you, and um, his email is not carbon copied mm-hmm. to his boss or anything. Hey, like... hi, dearie. We love your channel. Yes, you've like those uh, templated um, message. But if he knew who you are, and then you guys are like have been talking for a long time, and the, those email are now co- carbon copied, I guess he can say LOL. My favorite we is become friends. Hi, insert name here. <laughs> they they forgot to erase that. Or hi, Jackie Ina. I've gotten that before. I know, right? I'm like Jackie Ina. <laughs> Like if they, they forgot know. to change the name sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So in the end, I'll just probably end up using like exclamation points. I never use exclamation points. Is, isn't it too strong? No. In most situations, mm-hmm. that's why in an email where I can't use emojis and LOL, yeah, I'll use a exclamation to convey my like enthusiasm. But uh, yeah. Yeah. For me, I will. I will always try to be as calm as I can. And at the end, I was like, if you need anything, please let me know. I'm at your disposal. I sound like a submissive. Her last message on Grindr. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I first no, of all. No, jacked. <laughs> actually, Tinder. I'm just kidding. Ah, time is up, time I'm is just up. kidding. No. Oh, yeah. just, that sounds like I, I have no dignity. No. We're not, I'm we're very not about cold. to have this conversation again, Eddie. By the way, how are we liking this light, guys? Eddie wanted to, uh, to give this more cozy yeah, vibe. Yeah, because it was rain. He said to him, "Oh, what more? More?" Uh, because it was raining outside, and mm-hmm. I really wanted. Oh, yeah, it's, it's very dark today. Yeah, the natural light is kind of crappy, so it's horrible. I, I wanted to have this to mm-hmm. make the atmosphere more cozy. Eddie said, "Oh yeah, it looks cozy," and I said, "Oh yeah, yeah, sure." But in my head, I was like, "It literally looks like an interrogation room." <laughs> You look like you're oh, being interrogated look, for drugs. It kind of looks like that. Like, um, uh, you know how in, I think in Vanity Fair, there mm-hmm. is a show, <laughs> you know, they, they um, tie the celebrity up the, yeah, to test if they're really lying. lying. Test, uh, I really want detector. to do that. And I would want to ask you certain questions. If you were on doing that test, mm-hmm. would you do everything in your power? Even if you're not lying, mm-hmm. would you like do everything? Would you like start micromanaging your behavior? Because you're like, I can't. Because doesn't it react to the way you like sweating or like breathing patterns? I'm not sure how that machine works, but I think um, when they hook you up, they will ask you names that you are, it's impossible to lie. Like they'll ask you about your gender or your name, what your real name is. And then the, um, they will compare. The, no, well, uh, yeah, that I know. I think Can, that. But what I'm saying is, I feel like if I'm doing that test, I feel like even if I'm telling the truth, I feel like I would start thinking about all my extra little movements and behaviors. Cause I feel like what if I'm telling the truth, but I, I don't want it to come up as a lie because, you know, of the way I'm like... As a person, of course, you'll think that, but to represent it as a you know, as an outcome on the machine, I think it will still... I mean... So you're saying that lie detecting tests are 100% accurate? Because sometimes it can be a reference um, like as in, a, in court. Yeah, you know? but does that mean it's 100% accurate? And not 100% accurate. Because I but, heard psychopaths are really good at passing those tests. But I'm not a psychopath. Because I was tested when in MasterChef Korea. That's different. Yeah, because uh, not- they, te- they test everyone. If, if the, you're a psychopath, you cannot uh, be, uh, be in. You didn't take a lie detector test, Eddie. But that was a different test. They, t- they took a psychopath test. Yeah, but that's not we're, not, we're talking about the little lie detector test. Okay. 
Yeah, we, we talked about the, the psychopath test, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. One episode. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, we're getting to the point. This is... Okay, if you guys don't know, uh, we've had to meet up literally almost every other three or four days mm-hmm. to film two of these episodes per day. And so it's already getting to the point where we're already repeating stories. Yes. I mean... What are we talking about? What are we talking about? I'm talking about how you're repeating stories because you're. Oh yeah, talk- I know psychopaths are really good at um, hiding that they're lying because it believes what what they're lying is true. Mm-hmm. So I think if they are hooked on a liar test um, like machine, maybe um, to like as an outcome, maybe um, I think it will come out as truth. You're saying that they're good at manipulating it to yeah. make it come out the way they wanted to. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So basically, you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I think I think um, that's just a very rare cases. Oh, of course, and, absolutely. Uh, mm-hmm. But for us, I think it will be okay because I think you are not a psychopath. You never know, Eddie. Oh, of course, I. Oi, XG, oi. Edward is not a psychopath. Everything we do. Edward is just um, a normal person that likes to play games. One thing that's been really annoying me lately is I know we talk about how I'm like, oh, I've been single for like five years, blah, blah, blah. And I'll tell this to people. And like at this point, I'm like, it's not really so much complaining, but I literally just tell them, like, oh, no, I haven't had a relationship with the five, last five years. The, the response is always, oh, my God, no way. I'm like, I literally tell them, like, yeah, nobody's really into me or whatever. And people are like, ah, don't lie to me. I know you're lying. I'm like, I'm literally not lying. Like, it's getting really, it's annoying me at this point. Because I have to keep, I, I don't want to explain why nobody's attracted to me. You're doing the shaking head and chewing inside your mouth again. <laughs> when Ed, well, Eddie, when he's out, when he's checked out mentally, he's like. No. Because <laughs> he's he's like looking at me, but he's looking past my eyes. And I, you know, oh my God, did you ever do those tests in Elements? It's called the, it's like a book that has like these weird pattern pictures where it says, put your face up to it and then slowly move it away from your face. And you're supposed to be able to see an image if your eyes like cross a certain way. Have you done those before? No, you haven't. No, I haven't. In my elementary school, we just, um, we did it very You academic. did math tests. Math test and English test. Go let us know if you know. Yeah, yeah, I know you know the people. At least Americans. Elementary school, we go to the library. That's like one of the fun little books you can rent out. It's like a, I think they're called like magic puzzles or some shit like that. But you're supposed to be able to see like a, a faint image when you do fix your eyes a certain way. I think, I think Korean people tops <laughs> are very judgmental mm-hmm. and. Um, they're very narcissistic. Sounds like you're describing us. But I'm not, I'm, a, top. I'm I'm, not a top though. I'm Korean bottom. <laughs> and um, a lot of them, they would only date a certain type of bottom, I mm-hmm. think. Oh, of course. Yes. Bottom, basically people that look like them, but just in bottom form. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, and so I, it's at this point where I've already accepted my fate. So it's more just so the fact that lately people have been asking me about my relationship status. I'm just like, no, I'm not dating anybody. Um, on this show, I, we uh, we always jokingly complain about being single, but in real life, I'm more just like, yeah, no, I've been single for a long time, and they're just like, no, I don't believe you, whatever, Edward. I'm like, bitch, if I was lying, but also I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel, I'm too, well, one, I'm too lazy to complain about it, and two, I feel like there's no point in me trying to complain because mm-hmm. what's the point in complaining when I should be out there putting myself out there? You know what I mean? I think, you, and it's funny to me because there's no this boy gets dick, so it's like he can't even give me advice. So, it, for me, I, I even talked to my friends about this, and he's you know he agree they agree about the okay. fact that you know top in Korea only like a very certain, certain type. Yeah, like for me in Korea, when I get like a boyfriend, it's hard to for me to like because it's hard for me to empathize with you because no no it's for me my problem is I felt like mm-hmm. a lot of man they're so stupid or they're just that's the other thing though to be honest the one thing i will say is that if there is an opportunity the sec- the second i notice they're kind of gone up here yes. i'm like it's not that i'm better i have to yeah. be very honest mm-hmm. okay i sound very upset i know or no. something um it's just i have i'm 31 i have a lot oh, of yeah experience. you know what you like and you... I, have, I have a decent amount of long-term relationship mm-hmm. experience uh, quite 
a decent amount. You mm-hmm. know, you know, you know my dating experience, right? <laughs> what? Well, excuse me. Don't I know? <laughs> no, it's not even about uh-huh. you having high standards at all. It's more just like you know what will match well, with you well yes. and will last long. Because yes. but right and right now, dumb people do not uh-huh. like. I'm not. I don't see that going on for very long for either of us. Yes. So oh. it's not even about physical attraction for the most part. It's more about like. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you end up dating someone, right, going on a date with someone and they have a quality that because um, to some degree, we have to you have to be able to, you know, kind of like comp- not compensate what's the word. If something happens, like you got to work things out. Right. Mm-hmm. But there's just some aspects of a person where it's like, I don't think I can deal with this. You know, so, so, like recently, because I just um, because I'm more focused on career and recently, hey. uh, like, to be honest, and recently well, Miranda Pricely is a Pricely. How about Martha Stewart? I'm, um, I might go to jail later. I'm just kidding. I like her. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> oh. Entertain, entertaining with Martha Stewart. I'm with I'm, Edward Son. Edward yeah, Son. I'm going to jail. <laughs> um, Filming the next Double D podcast from jail. You're on the inside of the cell. I'm the outside. making the pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Uh, <laughs> uh, using prison uh, materials. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's just um, uh, even though I'm busy or something, I don't um, mind ha- the idea of uh, dating and having a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. But now, when I have the app and I'm, like maybe some people ask me, "Oh, do you want to like go on a coffee or something?" I actually said maybe not because I, I feel like a lot of Korean people they don't really know how to have a normal conversation. Really, uh, like, tops. How how come? A lot how of them, how will it they're, go? They're, they're, the hard ones they're either boring. <laughs> I think, but this is very universal. Mm. The hard ones that are either boring mm-hmm. or they're just really self obsessed. Yeah. They're, 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 they're the hot ones, they're self obsessed and then they're, and the thing, they're the, boring. The thing is, they don't even realize. They, uh, yeah, they don't realize. They realize they don't have a problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, or the, the highly educated ones, mm-hmm. they're. Uh, they kind of almost down upon you? No, the highly educated ones, I think they're just. I have met people who are from Seoul National Universities. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Why? Mm. Dicks are I think, small. No, the, the weird ones I think are they're always from the Seoul National University. The weird ones for weird, me. Weird I, in how? What I, way? I've, I've talked about this uh, mm-hmm. with with my uh, my girlfriends mm-hmm. mm, because we all we have all have experience with dating. If you're from Seoul <laughs> National University, I'm very sorry. <laughs> we we all have experience with um, the weird ones. Uh, um, boy, what do you mean by weird? Because from Seoul, they give me so. Seoul, they give me so like. You felt this um, strange energy. Strange energy, like on your. The, but the weird back. in what way? Um, like he's nice when you meet him, but you you just felt like something's off. Like he's gonna him. murder you later. Like like that kind of feeling. Really? Like, and those people are always from the medical school in <laughs> SNU, medical SNU and medical school. Really it's specific, very specific. It's a, it's a certain vibe that they always have. Yes, I met this one. And he's from uh, the SNU medical school. Mm. There's something off. Something. It feels like him. as soon as he comes inside of you, he'll pull a knife out and stab you. <laughs> Couldn't vibe him. Um, not that kind of vibe. It's just feel like um, he's nice, but there's just something that in his eyes, like I'm, it's like he's better than me. You got crazy eyes. Oh, <laughs> like he thinks that he's better than you. Mm, That's what yeah. I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like if you're not in the same kind of field, mm-hmm. especially because if you tell him. I feel like some people don't take you seriously if you say you're like in a creative field. Mm-hmm. Like if you say you're in fashion, they'll be like, "Oh, mm-hmm. fashion. What does that even?" But like, right? I think okay. Oh, well, yeah, doctor. Then like, mm. I. Yeah, because people. Yeah, when you're in that kind of field, mm-hmm. th- sometimes there are going to be people, right? That because they're going to be in such a that bracket where they're going to make all that money later on in life or whatever. They worked so hard to get to where they are, and so they feel like the partner has but to. For kind me, it's of, just ridiculous, though. Like I, I mean. If you want to compare with that, I came from Korea University. It's not that bad either. Yeah. So, like, are they, but are they more concerned about your actual job now, right? Yeah, but there, there's. But when I met him, he's just a student, medical student, mm. and he's gonna study wow. for ten years. And he reacted like that. Yeah. Wow. And yeah. I really, I really <clears throat> don't mind um, what kind of school that person's from, as long as he knows what he's doing. So I feel like at this uh-huh. point, the the ones that will last better with you are the ones that already have a job now, that isn't too like you know a rather normal job. Just a person who knows who who they are, mm-hmm. and then um, have a and sense isn't of humor. Insecure. Yeah, isn't insecure. Mm-hmm. Um, because the last person that I, I, I broke up with mm. that really had turned me off is he said he, he's, he, was, he said it was okay. 
personality wise? Uh, he's nice. He, he's mm. a very nice person. He's very attentive. Mm. But the, the 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 incident of us breaking up is because he lied about where his school is, is from. Huh? Yes, he he lied he, about his school. He never he never said where his school is from. Mm-hmm. Um, but he one day he suddenly asked where my school is. Mm-hmm. Maybe this is a very Asian thing. Mm-hmm. Ask asking where, which uh, university um, you are graduated from. And I, and I said, oh, I'm from Korea University. And he said, uh, I'm from Yonsei University. He said, mm-hmm. I said, oh, Yonsei University, because Yonsei University and Korea University had this rivalry, mm-hmm. rivalry yeah. um, relationship. I was like, oh, because we're about the same age. I was like, oh, do, do you go to the Koyeonjeon? Mm-hmm. Koyeonjeon means a Korean university and Yonsei University is like this um, sports competition. Uh-huh. Um, then how come I didn't see you like during that competition? And it's like, are you supposed to see them? There's an after party of the sports. But there's just so many people. Mm-hmm. Just flirting. Oh, okay. And then, oh, he's like, he's yeah, he's we were just flirting. Okay, huh. And then he was like, his mm-hmm. his like face expression kind of like changed. What? And then, then I realized uh, maybe he's not from the university. And Uh-oh. he said, I was like, I was joking. I was not from that university. I was like, why would you joking something like that? It's not funny. But when he said it, he said it very seriously. He said it very seriously. That's why. I was like, if you're joking. Sounds like my ex. <laughs> Talk about should, lying he went to Seoul University. Yeah. If you're joking, then you should, it should be uh, came, coming out from a funny manner. Like, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, a joke is a joke. Yeah, it's supposed to be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. And he said, oh, my, my university is from uh, Gyeonggi-do. It's not mm. a good university. And I said, I really said it to him sincerely. I said, it does not matter which university you're from. It says and more. You asked me first which university mm. I'm from. So, oh, yeah, I never asked you. And th- you brought this topic first. And the fact that he lied says a lot more. Yeah. Him lying about what university he went to says more about him than if he had just said, I'm from Gyeonggi, a Gyeonggi Do University. Yeah, like I feel like <clears throat> he doesn't, he's not proud about wh- mm-hmm. wh- which, like, like his academic background he's from, which I do not care at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really do not care because mm-hmm. he has a job. He can, you know, take care of himself. Yeah. Then I don't really care. Really? That's crazy. So then what happened? So you jong, jong oh, and that's like the first point. Mm. First point? Yeah. So you ended up dating him anyway? Um, or were we already From dating? that point, I feel like um, that's kind of a red, red flag. Red flag. Red mm. flag. And then later on, things similar to that nature happened. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, no, that, not everything about that. It's like, I, mm. I just feel like he has sort of like a like a complex about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is sadly is a real thing in Korea, but... I don't know. I feel like more people I wish, like, why you gotta lie about that? You know? Even if, you know, he didn't tell you, what, he's gonna keep the joke going on for how long? Oh, uh, yeah. Right? I know, right? So I told him that, you know, I previously, when I lived in Canada, I said to him, um, I used to be a cook and I used to go to culinary school. And it does not matter. And I, like, I, for me, I, I'm never ashamed that I'm go- I went to uh, community, community college. Mm-hmm. For me, I, I don't think that's a problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it really doesn't matter what you do or which school you go to. Would you say to, to a lot of people matters or just some people? I think in Korea, I think people, they really judge about your look and where you mm. come from, what your Does it matter what their status is or it doesn't matter where it says that they, a lot of them care about your upbringing? They just judge about everything you are. Because, you know, because I'm, um, uh, I'm Korean Chinese, which means I was born in China and I'm a Korean dis- descent, mm-hmm. so people like me are judged a lot, mm. in, specifically in Korea. People in the West does not know, but we're made into movies, like the criminal kind of movies, because mm-hmm. they're uh, in Terim Dong, mm-hmm. the specific area that we have. People like me, um, there's a lot of there are a lot of criminals that in really? Korea. Yes, China-born Koreans. Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of criminals, or we work as a lot of in the service industries. Mm-hmm. So I'm the one of the lucky ones um, because my parents there, they they were um, they have their own business and they sent me to Canada to have a higher education. So mm-hmm. I'm lucky that I can have a, a better education. The reason why I'm saying this is because I realized um, every single time I have to explain to a person that where I'm from yeah, and everything, I I feel, I, this I feel this judgment, judgment yeah. and where they're from. Like um, it's kind of they're like, oh really? Oh uh, yes. Mm. I do feel that. Yeah. Oh I no, I believe that. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. And here we are always constantly talking about it on Bunny Cherry and Double D. <laughs> but uh for me, I feel like if you hide it more and more, it just it's a proof that I'm so ashamed of it and mm. then I have to hide it and then people will judge me even more because they think this is my weakness and shortcomings. Really? And you have to really tell them 
that um, in the beginning the truth and tell me mm -hmm. who, who I am, then yeah, they, they yeah. won't judge me, right? It's so true. That's the only way, right? And also, you shouldn't be ashamed of your past. Mm -hmm. Because there's no, nothing to shame about. There's nothing to be ashamed about. I mean, unless you're a criminal yourself right now. Yeah, I have not, I have not done anything wrong. So. Mm. Except to do this podcast, do Buddy uh, Cherry. Being gay, a being bottom. Gay, being a public figure on the internet. Yes. Maybe existing. Existing as a power bottom. <laughs> that sounds so aggressive. Maybe. I'm just imagining kind of like Super Mario when he ground pounds blocks. That's you on tops. You at the club. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that was today's episode how long have we been filming hold on that's very vulgar edward girl please i'm a lady i've never done that i hope um you guys don't believe what edward said um what did i say i'm still half a virgin i'm saving the best for my husband half a virgin what is the other half in your mouth <laughs> yeah you know mouth is not virgin but here is still <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Christian. I'm uh, saving this for my husband. You don't believe me, um? I really don't. I really fucking don't. Okay. <laughs> Even the way you you sipped on the eyes, that was like pure power bottom energy. <laughs> well, I really hope. Um, I love how this guy. We're always ending this shit on the stupidest things, but always. I feel like this dude is trying to always end everything with like a life lesson. Where it's like, girl, there's like, what's the point? What's the, uh, the topic of this episode? I don't even fucking know. We start off with nothing. We're talking about dog bites <laughs> and then discrimination <laughs> against China-born Koreans. Discrimination against actually non-Koreans on the mm -hmm. in the gay world in yeah. Korea. But that's a whole box of worms to, that I don't feel like yeah, but actually, yeah, I think it, Korean Korean people that are discriminated against Koreans anyway. They're, they're, they're all, super they're all, judgmental. Yeah, super judgmental. They're, they're <clears throat> non-discriminative -discrimin uh, towards only a certain type. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So if you think about it, we're all equal. <laughs> we're all up for yeah. attacking on the chopping block. It's, it's hard to escape. And yet we're still here. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> Happy Ingo Matcha. I realized in Korea, if you want to be on the top of the the hierarchical system, you have to be rich, you have to be pretty, right? And you have to be, to be honest, you don't have to be straight or to gay. I don't think people don't really care. Mm. You just be rich, be young. So true. Be pretty and uh, it's okay. And then which, which is really hard, so I, I give up. You know that one said Hong Suk Chun? Mm -hmm. The bald guy, the mm -hmm. guy that came out. Mm -hmm. I noticed there would be people that are extremely homophobic, mm -hmm. but if they met him, they'd be oh my gosh, can I take a picture? Mm -hmm. I met a celebrity. So they came more about the status rather than like, yes. but if they met a regular everyday person and they find that they're gay, they're like, whoa, bro. Which is very funny. It's so weird. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> but in general, I think Korean, the public, they're, they're, they're nice. They're nice to people, at least. <laughs> After we just the Korean public in general, yeah, yeah, in general, you think so? I think that they're they're, they're they're nice to foreigners. They're like average person. Yeah, they they have the tone, right? They're nice to the the, the foreigners. Mm. Mm -hmm. You think so? I think so. Do you think all foreigners? Uh, to to foreigners, yes, they're very nice. You sure? I'm sure they're they're not nice to you. I feel like they're very they're kind to a certain type of foreigner. If you're not foreign enough, for example, like if you're just another Asian. I feel like we're not going to be treated the same way. Like, if you had a, someone, if there's a group of people, me, I don't know, a white person, a black person, a Hispanic person, and then another Asian, I feel like they would not all be treated the same. Oh. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. I mean, I treat everyone the same, so I, I don't That's know. That's you, though. Yeah, okay. Because you're open-minded. Okay. But we're talking about regular ass everyday Koreans. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. But also, I we apologize. can't speak for all of Koreans because yes. we've never, we haven't met all of Korea. Mm -hmm. Honey. Mm -hmm. And also my ass stays at home, so I wouldn't know. Yes. Which, I stay which, makes see, which brings me to the topic of uh Today? street interviews. <laughs> There's been a whole conversation about street interviews. Mm -hmm. Like you know the ones that uh, people random people do in Korea mm -hmm. and they interview uh random Koreans about random topics mm -hmm. and people get mad about that because they're like, This is not representative like because 'cause they're only picking right. But the thing is, doesn't matter what street interviewers' answer is, there will be always people be angry about it. Oh, of course, yes. of course. Mm -hmm. And it sucks because sometimes they chop up some of these uh, interviews mm, yes. to make it sound a certain way, which is so funny to me because, because recently we talked. I talked about the how when I was getting interviewed, street. It was my friend. He was doing the street interview, and he saw me and he told me, "Oh, Eddie, can I interview?" I was, "Yeah, sure." 
I didn't say anything crazy, but I just thought it was funny how because they were trying to promote their app, their language ex- language exchange Change. app, but it's really for Koreans to meet foreigners for dating. And I was talking about how I learned Korean, which is meeting boys on Grinder, Jack D, jacked, with the goal of getting a dick, but also learning Korean in the process. <laughs> and I love yeah, how they, they, they twisted that to make it sound like I was like it, they use it in a way to promote their app. And I was like, honey, I was just trying to get some dick. Why are you? Anyway, I mean, dating is a really good way to learn. A oh, of course, language. yes, of course. Mm-hmm. To be honest, best way. Yeah, because you have very clear motive. Maybe it's ulterior, but <laughs> you have a very clear motive. But maybe it's ulterior. Yeah, but I mean, as long as you know, you both get something out of it. Mm-hmm. Dick, pussy, but also a new language. Just make sure you use uh, protection. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. What the fuck? <laughs> and uh, happy holidays. It's Thanksgiving, uh, I guess. Uh, whether it's Canadian or American. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs>